In this lecture, we'll be covering three things. First, how we can define packages, defining variables, and then comments. So, let's start with defining packages. So, here in our Hello World example, if I have to include a package, then the package specification should be mentioned at the top of the source file. So, in this file, we can have the first line as the package itself. So, here we'll say package and then the package name will come like this. It's called bakery dot, let's call it as demo. So, this will be the package and then we can have our code. If you have to import some Java libraries, you can also do that after the package. So, we can have something of this sort, import and then java dot util dot star or asterisk. So, that way we can have our packages defined. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can define a variable. Okay. So, here we have our main function. Inside this function, we can have some variables declared. For instance, if I have to declare an integer variable, I'll say var and num equals 5. Now, here the value 5 will be inferred as an integer and the data type of the variable num will become integer. That's something which Kotlin does automatically. If I have to specifically mention that the data type needs to be integer, I can say val and count int. So, here the variable count is defined as integer and then I can assign it a value in this way. Now, if I have to do all this in one line, I'll say val step, that is the name of the variable, colon and let's specify the data type integer and after that give it the value. So, I'll say 4. So, in one line we are declaring the variable as well as initializing it. So, step will now have the value 4 and its data type is integer. And when we define a variable where its type is inferred, that variable is mutable as well. So, if I say var num equals 5, I can say num plus equal to 1. So, here we'll have the value incremented by 1. And if I have to take a look at it, let's go ahead and do that. So, I'll say print ln and here I'll say num. Let's run it. You can see that we are also getting some warnings that the variable are not used at all. And here you can see the output 6. Now, there are some other types of variable as well. We can call them as top level variables. So, if a variable is defined outside this main function block or outside a function, for instance, val pi equals 3.14, in that case, this value of pi can be used inside the function mean as well. So, I can say println pi, close it and save this. Let's go ahead and execute it. And there we have it 3.14 being accessed inside the main function. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at comments. Now, comments are exactly same as we have it in Java. So, if you have to go for a single line comment, you can say it in this way, two forward slashes. And if you want to comment a block of code, you can go with forward slash, asterisk and asterisk forward slash. So, these are the three things that we have covered in this lecture. First being including packages and importing libraries. Second was declaring and initializing variables and third one was 
वॉकिंग वेद कमेंट्स